And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Social Network. Now, Social Network, of course, is probably based on Facebook, although it could be any social network, I guess, Twitter or um, Instagram, etc. And, you know, there's a lot of great things about social networks, and there's a lot of irritating things about them. I feel like this game has tried to capture as much as the irritation factor into this. And, oh, that's mean. Maybe it's a fun game. Let's look. There are six players in the game, each player is their own specific player color, and the regular cards look like mice. Uh, they're very good quality cards. You also have two cards here that you actually aren't part of your deck. They're just a yes and no in voting. Players are going to draw cards into their hand, and the game will start, and basically all players are going to be playing cards simultaneously. Players will have a handful of cards, and one player will say go, and the game will begin. Now on your turn, you're going to be playing different cards. One of the main cards you'll be playing is a gallery. When you do so, you say that you're doing a gallery. Or you can be even more specific and say, pictures of my trip to Honduras. At that point, everybody else can play one thumb up on top of that card, and they can continue to do so until you play another gallery, in which case they can also play thumbs up on top of it. And when other people say galleries, I can throw thumbs up on their piles. That is a majority of the cards in your deck. When you play a contest, you play the contest in your own area and you can do whatever you want. You can say, uh, do six push-ups or name the capital of Venezuela. And the first person to do that or answer the question correctly, and I, the person who asks the question can take whatever answer they want, is the winner. And when that happens, both the person who started the contest and the person who did it correctly or finished whatever the stupid thing you asked them to do first, you know, uh, spin around 17 times, will take a card from their pile and automatically discard it into their own pile. Uh, then there, in each deck, there's a quiz card. When you put a quiz card out, you shout stop, everyone stops, and you ask everybody a question about yourself. Like I might say, my favorite normal flavored ice cream is cookie dough ice cream. And then I put down one of these answers secretly. Everyone else does the same thing. And then we turn it over and my answer of course is yes. And anyway, if everyone matched me, well, that's bad for me because they get to get rid of cards. If uh, no one matches me, then I put down one card. If some people uh, guess correctly, then they and me both put a card into our discard piles. Anyway, the game will continue until one person gets rid of their entire draw pile. At this point, everyone counts up all the cards that they have in their pile, whether it's from them or from other players, the thumbs up, of course. They will subtract the cards that are left in their pile and in their hand, and they write down the scores. You continue to do this until someone punches someone out of frustration or until you reach three rounds, and then whoever has the highest combined score is the winner. Some people are gonna like this. Like I said, I feel like it took all the irritating things about Facebook and put them in a box. Of course, they didn't, they didn't do the poking thing out. Someone has poked you. Ooh. Um, it's chaotic. All right, I don't mind chaotic games. I have a lot of, I have a few of them. I shouldn't say a lot of them. I got a few chaotic games where everyone plays at the same time. I love Pit. Uh, I love uh, Wall Street where everyone's shouting and screaming. I love that. The problem with this game is it's just so stinking confusing. There's all these things going on. Someone shouts they have a photo. You throw a card over. Oh, they already put out another one. Now what are you supposed to do your card? You put it back. And there's just hands flying around the table. You're never sure what. And then people... Any game that allows you to make up a task for other people to do is asking people to be stupid on the basis of being stupid. And I have a problem with that in games. You know, you shouldn't... I don't mind when games, you act stupid because of a game. Ooh, do, 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 do. But when the game makes me be dumb, or makes me, you know, it tries to force funniness. Is it fun when someone at the table says, someone needs to do 10 push-ups? Hmm, I wonder who's gonna do that. Cause it ain't gonna be this guy. You know, it just, it, these, these weird things that, that the game, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it's, the, really the word for this game I found was irritating. There's the speed aspect, which some people are going to hate anyway. Other people like it. You know what? I, I think this game, it's really not aimed at, my, at me. 
This game seems like it's aimed at a bunch of people at college who um, they're just at a party and they want to play just a, a crazy, insane type game. I think this will fit very well into that genre. Um, the throwing the cards around and, oh, I threw the wrong card in the wrong pile, they probably won't care. But the, the whole question thing, which is... It, it rewards you for picking something that no one knows about you and then, or even picking the wrong answer if no one else gets it. So I could say, I think fresh air is good, yes or no. And well, of course everyone will say yes. No, I don't like fresh air. That's just dumb. Ah, um, great quality. But other than that, this is just definitely not my style. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm.